I got five minutes to go over the rotator cuff anatomy. Uh, very important, very underrated. Make sure you like this video because I'm gonna explain how this shit works, your rotator cuff, why you're probably banged up, and what you can do about it. All in five short minutes. Hot damn. So, first off, what are your rotator cuff muscles? Well, there are four unique muscles that surround your shoulder capsule. And in order, going here, we got the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and then back there, the subscapularis. Four muscles, and they each do a different function. Together, they help stabilize the glenohumeral, your shoulder joint itself. Uh, and most people, because, you know, we sit down a lot, we're at desk, we're not that active, maybe we bench too much, we're too much of a bro, then we look like fucking Neanderthals, right? We got that internal shoulder rotation when we're like so, we got, uh, you know, shoulder impingement problems. A lot of people have shoulder problems, and if you have shoulder problems, I feel bad for you, son, because external rotation is basically the solution for a lot of people. So let's go over the different muscle, the supraspinatus. Uh, first of all, it abducts the arm through its initial 15 to 20 degree range of motion. So from here, of the uh, actual humerus to about here, think when you're doing a lateral raise from here to here, it basically is responsible for that function. If you really want to target it, and some people do have an issue, is sideline a dumbbell uh, abductions would be useful. I'm going to steamroll this though because I really want to talk about your infraspinatus and your teres minor. The ones that are responsible for external rotation. You heard me say people have too much of an internal rotation. They're rotated in like so. Most people don't do enough external rotation. Like you're you know, back fisting someone uh, in Roadhouse, you're Patrick Swayze. So exercises that target this, we know rowing is really good for you, but you have to put it through its full range of motion. And uh, these two muscles alongside your posterior deltoid are largely responsible for this, which is why I've listed and I've talked about it before, the Cuban press for a compound movement, getting that external rotation is very important. Another one is the shoulder horn. Most shoulder problems actually can be attributed to a lack of external rotation, mobility, and strength. And the other key point I want to make, so once again, resisting a weight, bringing it up like so, you have to work it through two different uh, ranges. So first, like so, but also rotating it inside where the arm itself is down in line with the center of the body. So both rotating here and rotating back. Once you do that, and once you incorporate more exercises like the Cuban press and just more external rotation maybe as an isolation movement at the very end of your workout, you should notice an improvement in your shoulder mobility overall. Uh, moving forward with that, if we want to talk about the fourth and last muscle, it's overworked. Uh, this is a muscle group that you shouldn't really be concerned about, the subscapularis. Uh, internal rotation of the humerus, right, so the opposite. So if you have a cable, you see some guys uh, uh, doing cables and they'll rotate it, you know, they'll be resisting pulling it in that way. Uh, with the cable, that's targeting it right there. But most people have too many adhesions already in the subscapularis. It's overworked, as I said before. The two primary things you should know is that these two muscles are important, and you got to do both external rotation like so, so rotating back, and then inside, so you're rotating back like so. Both ranges of motion. Happy shoulders equal a strong bench. This is a short, concise summary of the rotator cuff. I could go on and on, but. This is the nitty gritty right here, the real meat that you need to know. So the next time someone talks about the rotator cuff muscle and says it's very important, you can say, bro, it's actually four muscles and they each do a different function. Here, check out this video. Uh, Chef Buff Farming, that's it. That's the video. Thank you as always for watching my video. If you like the video, make sure to like the video. And if you're not a subscriber, fuck you waiting for. Zealous Army, I will be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace. Ah!